Okay, before we go ahead and create our store, um, we are going to first of all make product research. Okay, this is very, very important because the product tells you how your, your store should look. And by the way, you already know that you don't need to create a general store just like um, aliexpress.com. This is aliexpress. Okay, you don't need to create a general store of this uh, magnitude or create something like Jumia. No, no, they are not really, really relevant. Okay, so that is what we call niche stores. Niche stores are the very best store that you should everly use right now to make money so when you watch the video on funnel hack conquest you understand better on um, how to use sales strategy like bundle sales strategy to make faster sales and that is only made possible because we are using niche stores people only buy from people they feel like they are experts they are wholesalers so just think about it even you as a person that is selling an item right now okay in the street and you sell only shoes in your in your shop okay everybody will want to buy from you because they believe that since you deal on shoes it will be cheaper one and two it will equally give them more choices or variety of make, getting shoes so they know now each time they want to buy shoes they believe that it is you your store it is only from you that we, they will get good shoes because it, you are specifically dealing on that. The, there is one mentality that, ah, you have to test, 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 have all kind of product, uh, wrist watches, have sunglasses, have waist trainer stuff, clothes, shoes, etc. on your store. Uh, before you now find out which one that is selling more and focus on that, hold on, ladies and gentlemen, you don't need that. You, that is the essence of you having somebody who has been there okay to guide you on it okay if i should show you okay let me um log in here uh one of my accounts inside uh, aliexpress i will probably show you my store that make the sales right here in each store of course to buttress my points down here you can see it raw life okay there is one thing that somebody cannot form and that is this so no matter how you form the sales in your shop wordpress dashboard okay you cannot form this it's impossible all right it's important like a store inside aliexpress i can't even do that because i'm not in china right so these are orders i fulfilled straight up from my niche store that deals on watches so what does it mean to for somebody to even have a winning product like they call it trust me winning products do not have anything to do with item it has a lot to do with what people demand and what people want what people use every day every blessed day who does not wear watch out everybody do who does not wear jewelry maybe earring and the rest a few persons don't but a lot wear a lot of persons wear so you can see this store right here you can see the orders fulfilled Hundreds of orders are fulfilled on this store. Okay, let me let me show you my store Okay, and that is it if that is nothing special about the store it does not look there's no nothing so um, Clustering and uh, huge whatsoever. No, it is as simple as ABC Okay, these are the watches. Okay, this is the watches you saw now inside and uh, inside Aliexpress Okay all these things are bunch and bunch of others i have actually delivered straight off from aliexpress straight up to customers in usa if i even scroll down you will see it goes down and down and down and down there is no it's not guesswork thing this is what i have done the guesswork the lots of guesswork it is time for you to practice and make money for yourself right okay and a lot of people have been asking me why do you share this whole stuff when you can literally keep to yourself everything and making it well there's a lot of things i cannot do one is the fact that i have developed a software and the software is going to serve hundreds to thousands of people i wouldn't have done that if i focus on only me drop shipping items and no matter how much items you sell no matter how how huge you sell no matter how everybody becomes a seller 
on uh, um, in uh, related to drop shipping. Guess what? You can never ever stop me from my own no quantity or number of sales per day. It is not. It is not possible. It is impossible. That's the word. It's impossible because the audience you even if you are marketing at the same audience we still somebody who buys shoe from you can still buy sunglasses can still buy shirts and even can still buy the same shoe or kinds of shoes okay so it's, it's, it's limitless just just think about it if everybody becomes somebody who sells so there is nothing like competition it does not exist because if you if you are a producer of cement you are called dangote you are a producer of cement good would you buy uh, zinc buy wood buy other things water etc that you use to build a house that you make up with cement just think about it there is nothing like competition you just have to serve your customers and serve them well period the customers you receive or the customers you get while you are advertising serve them and serve them well and be hungry for more that is all nothing more Anyway, let's talk about product research. Very, very important. And let's kill it. Okay, we are still looking at sunglasses uh, on product research. So let's, let's uh, narrow down for that to find out an item. Okay, um, all these are beautiful. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, this one is cool. Let's try another. Okay, this one. Let's see this one. Okay. Okay. So as this item is like this, so the first thing we have to do by product and store rating. So let's look at the, the product store rating first. Okay, the store rating is not all that good. So I has item described below average, 4.5 below average. Okay, but let's look at this item. This item has 4.7, um, 4.7 rating on this item. So they might have other items that are bad. Okay, but this exact one has good rating. Okay, has good rating, 4.7. Okay, I recommend minimum of 4.5, you know, the rating is 1 to 5. So minimum is 4.5 and that is A. Okay, so they must be rated at A point minimum. So you can see this one is 4.7 and it's okay. So once you find out that the rating is okay on the item, what do you do next? You click on the reviews. Click on the reviews. This item has 5,000 plus sales and 1,000 plus reviews. Let's click on the review. So on the review tab, uh, you can see right here, uh, this one says excellent glasses, a little tight dress on a wide face may not fit, but sit tight will not fall when tightening. So I don't know, these are, are you not perceiving it as a real customer who bought and he bought from USA, you can see, okay? Customer who bought and even you can give such review like okay this is the experience it's not tight it's okay it's not that the eye the sunglass is bad but it's not fitting me well but the person will not refund it because the item definitely solved the issue that he or she bought it for now you can look further on the review super beautiful glasses and seems to uh, to have quality it comes with box okay this one is satisfied and you can see their images they are sending with the item it is obvious in fact look at this person the person has put it on or is watching from the uh, eye glass so it is obvious the person is happy about the item it says i ordered 1820 now that you have find out this that is the first and second thing customer review the third thing is how recent a purchase is how recent was a purchase made very very important now let's look through now this one is march 2020 okay this is this is literally something that even before now in order of our training is not but based on experience we begin to look deeper and deeper to find out how cool an item is very very important okay very very important so you can see this one has 
third third of March 2020, and that is this month because this video is recorded this month of March. So you can see right here, and then this item, um, this one third of March. The last person, this person purchased third of March. This one twentieth of February, okay, and then uh, January, okay. You can you probably scroll down further to look now. Let me bust your brain. The truth is that inside droppers, this research we are made handily picked by human before we loaded it into droppers. Just understand this we took our time and gradually go through each product before we import them into droppers database for you to select from. Okay, so those things that's why when I when people talk about software is doing this and that, finding winning product, you are if human being did not work on the items, trust me, it is waste of time and money. You will still not sell in those items. Okay, so these things are very, very important once you are making your research. Now, the last thing you have to look at is extra to do in finding product price and sales margin. Very, very important. Okay. Um, let's look at uh, you search for this item straight up from AliExpress. So uh, from Google, search on Google. So search on Google this item's keyword of this item. So you still find out if this item is still selling in other people's stores, especially Amazon, because you are selling to the US market. You want to find out if this item sells caught in Amazon and the price they are selling there is it the same with this price is this price costly or cheaper in that case what happens you become better in your price decision now let, let's look at this item now um uh, how do we find out the exact name that we use 2020 new cat eye women sunglasses tinted colorless men vintage shape blah 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 so let, let's use um tinted colorless uh, tinted color cat eye women sunglasses tinted color okay let's use that and search on google so you search and say amazon you type when you put up the search you add amazon at the end amazon and then you hit enter on google so it comes out now you click the first and open we click and open so let's find out okay this is the same item is that not it it is exactly there is no difference this one has white color on at the top but it's the same item okay this exactly the same item exactly the same item now if i look at this item um price here Let's look at this item to ship to USA. Okay, you can see this item is selling for twelve point nine nine dollars shipping five point four nine. Oh my God! Are you not excited? Truly, that you are offering better value because this item you are going to be shipping this item. Uh, let's see the shipping cost here. E packet is just 1.68 dollars can't you see that just 1.68 and item 2.49 it cost you how much in aliexpress let's go let's check calculator okay 2.49 2.49 multiply uh, sorry plus shipping cost of 1.68 is 4.17 this is what it will cost you in aliexpress and just imagine if you are selling this item for ten dollars okay if you are selling this item for ten dollars you are making how much profit five points something usd right five dollars straight up profit right now in amazon it is sold for 12.99 dollars are you getting it 12.99 is the sale price okay 12.99 plus shipping which is 5.49 5.49 
18.48 that is the cost so imagine you are selling this item for just fifteen dollars minus four dollars that you are or even five dollars you are selling ten dollars straight profit are you getting my point this is how we make product research okay and once you show this item straight up to u.s citizens or u.s market because they have reference of such items sold on amazon and the rest and physical stores because this means that in physical stores in the u.s this item is sold for more than two times or at least extra five dollars of this selling cost of this item in physical stores that's what it means so because amazon will want to sell a little bit cheaper so that people will hardly buy on amazon than buying physically are you getting the point so in that case you are selling at 15 dollars let's assume you are putting just 10 dollars profit so you are selling at 15.99 this item i are getting for 4.14 in aliexpress guess what you make huge profit so this is how to make product research you find out what other stores are selling especially the u.s store which is now amazon the king of all uh, uh, stores in the u.s right don't forget you are not buying this item with your cash when a customer pays for it you take part of the customer money from the store and buy the item that is it don't forget this is exactly the same research we made and loaded up all these items for you inside droppers you can come here and search for items and simply add to import list so but in case you are doing it on your own is uh, straight up from aliexpress then use your chrome extension okay with your chrome extension you just click import one second two second imported and then you go to your import list right here and you find it there uh, in summary niche stores are the best stores you can ever use for your drop shipping business and then not just that each item you sell you should painstakingly take the precautions i mean the um, rudiments i explained in this training okay on selecting or choosing an item and then the best and best is the fact that you can get items straight off from your dropout account but in case items that you have maybe you want to drop ship uh, example these uh, sunglasses and you don't have up to uh, uh, number of sunglasses you want to load in your store then you can quickly go to aliexpress and make your quick research just like i just did okay so i hope you enjoyed this training i will see you in the next one